Currently, the cause of ADHD is a mystery. Although ADHD is considered a brain disorder, according to the National Institutes of Health, no certain brain abnormality exists that definitively establishes the presence or absence of ADHD. ADHD has no biological marker, no place in the brain that clearly marks its location, and so it is not identifiable as to physical location or magnitude. Current research indicates that it may be caused by a variety of factors. ADHD may be passed along in families genetically. Immediate family members seem to be more vulnerable to ADHD. For example, if one identical twin possesses ADHD, there is a 93% probability that its twin will possess it too. If one parent has ADHD, there is a 25% chance that he or she may produce a child with ADHD. Although a few studies on ADHD and heredity have been completed, data regarding heredity and ADHD are primarily based on observation. Further long-term evaluation seems to be necessary, as conflicting data have been produced in various studies regarding ADHD and specific genes. Using brain scans, researchers have reported structural and functional brain differences between subjects considered normal and those considered having ADHD. Scanning and techniques like brain wave mapping or QEEG are currently considered new technologies that need more investigation. Since ADHD has no identifiable location in the brain, it is usually diagnosed by a clinician who uses a series of tests. To have your questions answered by an ADHD expert in a free teleseminar that's live online and in real time, call 800-788-6786 to register. You can also learn about Play Attention, the nation's leading educational learning system for attention difficulties.